This dish always reminds me of beach holidays. Sand in my feet, pina colada in my hand, and a big, giant pineapple fried rice. Yum. <laughs> Now, I'm not usually one to advocate for decorative fruits when you're home cooking, but can I just say there's just something particularly spectacular about a pineapple bowl. So we're gonna go large people, we're gonna make the pineapple bowl. So start off with your pineapple and we just want to cut a little bit off center down through. Now just keep a hold of the pineapple with a tea towel because it's a little bit spiky. Save this guy for later. And what we want to do is run our knife around the perimeter of that pineapple and just create our little bowl shape. I'm going to get right down to the bottom, but don't cut all the way through the pineapple. And once you've gone around the edges, just cut through the middle and create little slices. It's going to make it easier for us to scoop the pineapple out in pieces rather than one whole bit. Okay, so the first piece always takes a little bit of wrangling. Just get a spoon in there, just scoop out that first little piece. So there is the first piece. Now we can scoop out the remainder. Now just clean up the bottom part of that pineapple and you'll have a little bit of pineapple mush down there, but don't throw that away. That's perfect for putting on top of your breakfast yogurt or your muesli, yum. And there we go, our beautiful pineapple bowl. Now I want a few of these pieces of the pineapple for our fried rice itself. I'm just gonna cut the core out. That's that hard bit in the middle. And then slice up these nice tender bits into small chunks. If you're not gonna be making a pineapple bowl, you still want to use fresh pineapple for this. I find that tinned or canned pineapple is a bit too soft and a little bit too sweet for this purpose. So you can just buy pineapple pieces or sliced pineapple, but just make sure it's fresh. The secret to making a really good fried rice starts with a good cooked rice. And if you want all my tips and tricks for making rice, especially for fried rice, have a look at my YouTube channel. I've got a video there just for you. Okay, so I've got some two cups of some cooked rice here. And the really important thing about stir frying anything is that you've got all your ingredients chopped and ready to go because the cooking part should be really quick. And I just need to get my eggs ready. Just give those a whisk. And now we're ready to cook. A little bit of oil, and I'm using a totally non-traditional ingredient for this, bacon. My mum would not be very happy, but my mum's not here. So bacon, in we go. I'm gonna let that bacon fat melt so the bacon pieces become nice and crispy, and the rest of our ingredients will fry in that bacon oil and get nice and tasty. Mm, the smell of that bacon is making me happy already. Now for some garlic, an onion, and some cashews as well. And now for the prawns. And whenever I'm adding protein into a stir fry, I like to move the ingredients around a little bit so that the proteins are hitting the bottom of the pan straight away and getting all of that good heat. Now just let those prawns sit on that first side. Let them sizzle and get all caramelized. Time for the egg. And once again, I'm moving all those ingredients around and the egg goes into the center. And now get it all mixed up together. Now rice, there's chunks of pineapple, and some flavoring. So I've got some curry powder, a good dash of fish sauce, some soy sauce, and a little pinch of white pepper. Mm, and that is just looking glorious. To finish that up, I'm going to add a little bit of greenery with some chopped coriander and time to serve up. Ah, oh, it just looks so festive. A holiday on a plate. 